Bosch Faustin is a recovered Muslim, <laughs> cartoonist, blogger, creator of the anti-jihad superhero Pigman. All right. <laughs> <laughs> He's an Eisner Award nominee and the uh, AFDI Mohammed Cartoon Contest winner. Yeah. Yeah. But, by the way, Bosh, I, I want to say my, my father, who is uh, Renan Lurie, he's a political cartoonist. Also, he, he likes your work. So, uh, Bosh, you want to start off? Yes. Um, I just want to say uh, I know those of us here understand that we've been sold out about the true nature of our Islamic enemy by our government, the scum media, as I call it, and academia. But what you may not know is that we've also been sold out by the comic book industry. Marvel and DC Comics are two biggest, most popular uh, comic book companies owned by uh, Disney and Warner Brothers, respectfully. They basically, they're publishing Muslim superheroes at a time when Muslims are on the warpath. And instead of having their superheroes fight our enemies the way they did in World War II, They've, they've instead placed Muslim superheroes on their most popular superhero teams, the Avengers and the Justice League. Uh, Marvel and DC want to promote their fantasy version of what they would like Muslim superheroes to be, uh, not Islam's version. Uh, as I've argued, a good Muslim by our standards is a bad Muslim or a non-Muslim by Islamic standards. And who are the heroes in Islam? Jihadists, w you know, within Islam. They're the pinnacle of what it means to be a great Muslim. And in light of that terrible state of superhero comic books, it's worth noting that the creators of Superman, uh, Batman, Captain America, were all Jews. Or as the Quran refers to them, quote unquote, the descendants of apes and pigs. Uh, to see this Muslim super trend take place within a genre created by Jews during a time of war where Jews are targeted more than others is particularly disturbing to me. Uh, when I say the words, Nazism means peace, what's your reaction? You know? Uh, well, that, that's my reaction when I hear Islam is peace. It's so untrue. It's so unjust to the concept of peace. It is blurted out by Muslims and non-Muslims alike every single day. And it's this big lie uh, and this propagation that Marvel and DC Comics can get away with publishing Muslim superheroes without much complaint. Uh, what have Muslims done to deserve this tribute? Zero. Nothing. Uh, we've gone from Captain America punching Hitler on the cover of his first issue in 1941 to Muslim superheroes at a time when Muslims are on a warpath. Basically, we've gone from kicking the enemy's ass to kissing it. And do any of these Muslim superheroes take on those like ISIS who quote unquote perverted their faith? No, not one. They've been around for four or five years now. They never take on those who quote unquote pervert their faith. Uh, whatever the leftists at Marvel and Easy Comics believe they're doing with their Muslim superheroes, they're promoting a religion that sanctions misogyny, censorship, Jew hatred, homophobia, wife beatings, beheadings, honor killings, pedophilia, quote unquote, child marriages, and murdering infidels, etc. They're promoting evil within the superhero genre, which is supposed to be good versus evil. You know, Winston Churchill said about the World War II film, Miss Miniver, he, he called it more powerful to the war effort than the combined work of six military divisions. He understood the power of art. Uh, so, you know, what's the answer to this, to this terrible state where mainstream comic companies are mainstreaming the ideology of our enemy? to take on this enemy, honestly, through art. Uh, I was raised Muslim, I left the faith in my teens, but after 9-11 I studied Islam as if my life depended on it because I knew I wanted to write and draw a comic book taking it on. And my superhero, Pigman, is a, he's a result of that. I created Pigman after 9-11 when I thought about what would be the last thing in the world this enemy would want to face. So I thought about a big, ruthless American ex-Muslim who knows the enemy's language in more ways than one, and who dresses up in pigskin leather, hell-bent on making the enemy pay with their lives. Thank you. All right. If you want to know more about Pigman, I'll be around so you can right. talk to me, ask questions. Let's, let's turn. Thank you so much, Abash.